Let's start with just this, the, 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 the idea of what I just talked about. The, there's not a ton left, and we're like a day in. And I'm just curious, as you talk to front offices around the league, just sort of uh, how the pace went and, and how maybe that impacted players or front offices and forced their hands to make deals that maybe they weren't even emotionally ready to make. Well, what the earlier start did, teams, agents told me, players who had to make decisions, it created a, a momentum that wasn't there when, when the period started at midnight. Like at midnight, the deals that were already done – would get reported, mm -hmm. and then kind of everybody go to bed, everybody make their first call, hey, we're interested in you at midnight, and then we're waiting at somebody's house. But at 6 o'clock, momentum started going, and I just had a lot of you know, teams and agents being forced, hey, you've got 15 minutes to make a decision. You've got a half an hour to make a decision. We're going to the next guy. Mm -hmm. And it was, it, as one agent said to me, it was a game of really fast musical chairs because if you wait too long with your client, the money has dried up and you're taking deals where you're kind of holding your nose a little bit, but it could be a lot worse. And then you get fired as an agent a week later when there's no money left and your client's still out in the market. Would there be a real quick example of a team that maybe you, you pivot from, like, uh, I, don't, I don't know if this is the kind of thing you can share. I'm kind of putting you on the spot here. I don't know if there's, like, a team thought, oh, this, but now that. Now we just have to turn and maybe we give more than we wanted or whatever. Easy one. Justin Zanuck, the general manager in Utah, you know, they, they thought they'd get Nikola Miritich. And all of a sudden, he wakes up on Friday or Saturday and tells his agent, Spain. I'm going to Spain. Instead of $15 million a year, I'm going to go take two or three. And Indiana, who thought they were going to keep Boyan Bogdanovich, maybe around 53, 54, here comes Utah at $73 million. They're blown out of the water. What does Indiana do? Hey, let's go get Malcolm Brogdon. We get Brogdon. And all of those executives, players, they had to make quick decisions. And, and for them, it's, um, uh, uh, you know, you're going to have to live with the results of those and, and in a moment. That's why the preparation for those where teams go through every possible scenario so when they get to it, they know what decision they're going to make. I mentioned that there's not a lot left. There are still some big names left. Boogie Cousins a couple years ago, he'd have been one of the prizes. But now here he sits. Is there a market for him? There's not a market for him, Scott. And I think, and, and it's not, I, I think he thought, he hoped, some uh, big market teams would strike out that have cap space. He could get a one-year... 12, 15, 18, 20 million dollar deal. It's not there. That's not happening. I don't even know if there's a mid the mid level exception he got in Golden State last year. I don't think that's there for him. Wow. All right. Well, meanwhile, I, I, I didn't bury the lead. I just wanted to get to some other content here before we get to the idea of, of Kawhi. And again, we wait for now. Lakers, Clippers, Raptors, presumably all still in this for now. How stuck are those teams? Because obviously only one of them gets them. For the, for the two that, that, that don't, how stuck are they given who's not? They are now. Well, you're the Lakers, right? Kawhi's number one. You're waiting for him. D'Angelo Russell was number two. He's gone to Golden State. But then when you were going to break up your 32 million into several players, you wanted a Seth Curry gone to Dallas at 8 million a year. Danny Green's still on the board. Danny Green's a good example. He's waiting. Does Kawhi go back to Toronto? Because I could go back with him there. But, but LA's interesting to me. Maybe I can jump on with one of the LA teams. Mm -hmm. He's waiting. You know, Dallas is, their money's starting to dry up. So, uh, I think right now the two L.A. teams who have a lot of space, the longer Kawhi waits, like, guys go off the boards, but it's Kawhi Leonard, and if you think you're in it, you got to keep waiting. Man, that, and, and somebody's going to put the cards down on the table, and you're going to stare at it and go, wow, that's a hell of a pot, and we didn't get it, and then the team that gets it, you know, then yeah. the odds shift in his favor. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.